Iceman, welcome to the St. Con Hallway. This is your first time at St. Con? This is my first time in St. Con. I love it. Yeah, I was like, first, first interact. Like, what did you think? Like, you're, oh, this guy's reaching out to me. I'm going to Utah. What, what, what did you think you were going to run into? And then what did you run into? Wow. Oh, I had a discussion on Twitter with Troy Jupiter uh, last year uh, after DEF CON. And he said, oh, you know, we're going to invite Dave. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can come to St. Con, you know? And uh, it's like, oh, no, we can, you know, we can only afford to ship in like one or two speakers. I'm like, ah, oh, right, don't you know, go for deep. Don't think about me. And then I met up with you guys in Singapore, and we talked about stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay, that might be cool. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I got these messages like in June. It's like, hey, man. Hey, man. Do you want to come to St. Con? <laughs> it's like, sure. Maybe. And I was like, yeah, well, would be an honor uh, to see if I could uh, fix, uh, to see if I could uh, fit it in. Right. Yeah, it's a long trip, you know, so I'm, I'm not from the States, so I'm uh, across the pond, so it's a long flight here. And you thought, what did you think you were oh. walking into? Oh, man. Uh, you I can be know. honest, be honest with I'll us. Be honest. You've been to DEF CON and you've seen yeah. Black Hat and it's like a big massive event. And I didn't know how many attendees, you know, I got some feelings for it. It's like, I didn't know the vibe here. It's like, what kind of focus it is. Uh, different, cons are different, you know. And then I got in here and people are so friendly. I'm like, oh, that's nice. And, you know, open hearted and it's so much focus on, you know, on hardware. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. I mean, it's communities. You call, you call communities instead of villages. Yeah. And I, I was like, okay. So I, I move around, do stuff. I'm like, okay. So it's close. You know, the hotel is nice. Got here. And then just meeting all the people here and, and talking to them, interacting with them. And they are, you know, so open hearted. It's, uh, you feel very welcome. And I, I'm so surprised. It's, it's 1,700 attendees, I think yeah. it is. And Shmu is like 700 or... Uh, but no. it's a little bit tighter group. Like no, Schmooze, Schmooze, I think, 2,000 with oh, all the God. volunteers. Wow. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. If ever someone from Schmooze sees me, <laughs> sorry. So sorry. Uh, it's different, but, but, but I like it. Uh, I really like it here. Um, not to mention that I saw the mountains when you get here to Provo. And it's, you know, it's <laughs> yeah, what did you t What did you tell me in the morning? <laughs> it was the funniest thing. <laughs> the first morning. <laughs> the first morning I go up and I go into the convention center and you take the escalator up and you're like, Hold on, wait, what, what? That's not, you know, skyscrapers, that's not houses. It's like, is that mountains? <laughs> You're like, is this an LCD screen? No, <laughs> these are mountains. It's, like, it's hilarious. Like, oh, man. Well, it's not massive. That was so beautiful. And I guess you get used to it here. If you live here. Yeah, we're a little desensitized. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, mountains, sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, mountains, no. They're still cool. I mean, I, you enjoy them, but it, you kind of expect them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I love it here. Um, so psyched for it. It's very nice to see um, Joe Grand and some of other talkers, speakers. Um, I don't know. And it's all how this org is organized. It's how they work with this. It's really, yeah, you got it down to, you know, it's really down to the point of things here. It's a lot of year. I think 23 years this year. Is it? You know, it's grown and obviously, but clearly all volunteers by the community and way a lot of time and effort put into things. Yeah. yeah. People are like, you know, it's so family oriented here. I see kids running around and all, it's so many people soldering. I'm like, wow. Right. So much hardware here. It's like, whoa. <laughs> you, you can't get it. So some other cons is so much difference. It's like, you know, it is. I, I call it my accessible DEF CON because if I want to do something, you could do it in a reasonable period of time. Where yeah. there, you're like, I really want to do this. I can't get a solder station for hours and hours and hours. Yeah, it's, it's too much people there. Yeah, so I met up with the RF and NFC community. I've been chatting a little bit about them. I thought that would be very interesting for me because I'm into RFID hacking, if you don't know me. And uh, they were like, hey, Ace Man! <laughs> Woo, yeah, welcome. Yeah, cool. So, you know, spent time there. And yeah, and I got a mini badge as well. That's a completely new thing for me. That's, you know, your badge system. Yeah. Normally on other conferences, yeah, that's a tip for you guys, is that you don't reuse it, always new ones. And you put it away and you never use it. Right. This one is like, oh, you can really see that people use this every year and just build it on. It's like, oh, that's, that's solid. Yeah. That's smart. It's a good way to communicate those. Well, hey, you got my mini badge? People are making their own custom ones. Attendees, ah. are, attendees are making them. Yeah, hey, him soldering themselves. <laughs> just, like, damn. 
<laughs> it, I, I think it's a, I think it's great. It's legit. It's really hackerish. Yeah. Right. So I think we got the vibe of friendly welcome, and the hacker vibe of doing physical things, and the curiosity. And yeah, I like it. So your your handles, Iceman, mm -hmm. was this earned, given? Yourself, it was taken, was it taken by the blood of my forefathers, as we do in the Northern Slum. You are the machine. I'm the machine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a running joke. No, it's, it's, it's going to be a running joke. Uh, no, Iceman is a taken. I am because I'm from the northern parts of Europe, and uh, ice cold. And yeah. And there is a little thing though. Uh, it's not related to. Um, Top Gun. Uh, I know you can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> and it's not about a Sierra game called Iceman. Uh, not even a sidekick to Snow who's here? No, no, no. It is actually a thing. My consultants, my company that I own, uh, my private company that I'm running, is called Ice SQL, or a sequel that's reported in the States. And it wasn't meant to be ice in that sense, but it was meant in a reference to the Neuromancer book from uh, William Gibson, oh. where we call it Information Counter Electronics. So like, yeah, I'm gonna do, I was gonna do a uh, software about SQL injections. This was back in 2002. And then I started consulting instead, so you didn't have time to develop. So that was ice came from. So I had that basis of it. And then, uh, yeah, uh, well, I'm a dude, so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Ice Man. How did you get into InfoSec? What was the, the, the move into information security? Oh, I'd never moved into that since. I just. I mean, kinda. RFID I, and hacking, okay. Uh, All right, let's just say let's, it's a. How did it end up in. in let's uh, say it's a broader term. Yeah. How did you get into doing well. attacks and exploits for RF? Like, what was that transition? Um, wow, it's a kind of personal story, though. I usually say it. Uh, I'm listening. <laughs> 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 yes, my therapist. Uh, Come on, the machine. <laughs> the machine is going to sound like this. <laughs> so I was separated, and I was kind of depressed about life, and it was kind of dark and stuff like that. And I wanted to, I, I've been doing computers all my life. And I wanted to do something for myself. I want to find that, the, the joy back in, in, in hacking, you know, something like that. You know, for yourself, you just do it for your curiosity. And I read in my hometown that just starting a transport system that was using MyFair Classic, and there were some articles about how they could hack it, and it was like a big uproar about it. And I was curious, you know, how does RFID work? Right. So I read about that, and you see this Proxmark comes up, and I, I, uh, I order it on Taobao uh, or something like that, and like $300. And I got this package a week later, you know, all excited, all gitter up, you know. You open it up, it's, it's a circuit board. And I've never done anything embedded in my life. So I'm sitting there with this embedded board. It's like, okay, let, now what? So, okay, let's download and go to the Proxmo forum and try to do things. And I'm miserably failing. Doesn't work. And people go like, which guide have you followed? Right. Oh, you should be able to do this anyway. You know, that's the attitude that I had. So I completely failed. And I was like, ah, uh, packed it up again. And I put it up on a shelf in my office. So I have, it's, it's like a cat laying up there, despising you. And like you look up and you have this low, love, hate relationship between you and the cat. And you go like, uh, it reminds you about how you failed. Right. <laughs> it's like, ah. Uh. So six months later, I'm ready. I was like, okay, I bought, some, I bought this stuff. I'm obviously interested in it. And I, I need to spend some money. I spent so much money on it. Let's go. Let's make one try or whatever. Go Good bash day. my head against the wall again. Yeah, let's do that. So I put it down, Google it, a guide, follow it, it compiled, and then, whoa, I flashed. <laughs> First time flashing embedded or firmware. It's, yeah, it's, it's scary. And uh, I run the clients, like, oh, yay, you know, where's my card? <laughs> so get my bus, uh, the bus ticket there. Put it on the antenna around the dark side attack. And 25 seconds, I remember this day until this day, that feeling that 25 seconds later, the first key comes out, and I'm like, <gasps> that dopamine kick. It's like, <laughs> I gotta know more. 
I'm an attacker now. <laughs> I'm the machine. <gasps> I'm the machine. <laughs> so <laughs> I never give up. So that's how I, you know, that's my mindset. So, like, oh, yeah, I like hacking. So, like, oh, I love this knowledge. And it's like, how, how does this work? And yeah. So uh, it's just, yeah, that's how I started. That's awesome. And then you just, you know what, I'm just going to keep doing this and putting these out to the community and... Uh, no, it wasn't like that. <laughs> it's just, this is a running joke that I didn't understand back in the days. And all of you guys has been in the Proxmoc world or of idea hacking world back in the days, 10 years more, and know that joke that says, the Proxmoc can do anything, but you have to implement it yourself. <laughs> And I took that to heart because actually I'm a very good developer. So I was like, let's do that. At least I can do that. So I started doing these things. And while doing that, I tried to have this idea of sharing the mindset, sharing the information and, you know, two people and have that because it was kind of OG people there. It was really rough. It was a really rough crowd. I remember reaching out to someone and I wasn't allowed to get the email until I cracked. I should have a key for, for, uh, for iClass. It's a CTF Just, uh, barrier. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> bonk like this. And once I did that, I got in, you know, one of the circles in, and from there I started spinning. So the administrator, Zero XFF, goes, no, it makes me a moderator. Out of the blue, I have no idea. So all of a sudden, I'm a moderator on the Proxmox forum, and then people say, oh, yeah, you're mod. Oh, you're <laughs> mod. Now, 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 like, now I'll talk to you. <laughs> now you talk to you. It's like, okay, you know, you know, you know something. N now you're saying, uh, crack this key before you can ping me. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> the difference. I didn't do that because, you know, then, no, let's share it. And, and, it's, it's the old crew, you know, the OG people were like, you had to do, you know, LF. You have to capture the raw signal and then manually look at the data plot window and decode the one and bits and then decode into data to the PAX payload for prox. And if you didn't manage to do that, you were nothing. I'm like, okay, I can do that. So I did my hours. I guess I'm not nothing. <laughs> I was like, I did my hours. I did that. I was like, this is not how I want to work with Proxmark. This is like, I need a, you know, this is not how, if I want to do RFID hacking, this is not a tool, it has potential. You can do it. You can do anything but, if you have the heart. To yeah, it. but you have to build it up, you know, you have to move things in direction. And it turns out that some of these things, my idea for that was like, I made it too simple. So they're like, really? Uh, they didn't like it in that sense. You know, it's like, nah, so why do you want to do it so easy? What's, what's your catch? You know? So I, I don't have a catch. I, like, I just find it interesting and I want a tool to work in the way I want to work with it. So I decided that if you guys don't like it in official branch, you keep that one because I can do my own. Right. And that's the Iceman fork. And I fix bugs, you know, because I spent hours and hours and hours. I've been doing that for years, fixing stuff. And it becomes more and more better and starts, you know, less and less crashes and all of that stuff. And people start using that because it works a little bit more, a little bit better, and a little bit easier. Easier. Yeah. yeah. And that turns out, you know, so if you go to the Proxmo today and you look at then, it's like, yeah, it was better then. No. <laughs> it's a completely different system today and it works so much more and it can do so many things. And... During this process there, like, I become an administrator of things and I'm a, and a maintainer of both official and my Iceman fork. And then I meet up with other, four other people, two, two Chinese people and uh, other administrators from Australia. And we form this uh, company called RG, and we bring forth the next generation of Proxmox. So we make a, you know, so it's like, how do you want a Proxmox to be? It's like, I want to have it. I want to have a SIM card, I want to have some more memories, I want to have it compatible, it should be a form factor that you can use a little bit. And that was uh, what became the RDV4, which was, you know, the person who did that, the hardware part, is Proxgrind. And he's a hardware genius. Series, Series FF is a hardware software guy, so it's like mixed, but he has a really deep information knowledge about how things do. And then I'm, I'm the software man, you know. And I usually say I'm the poster boy, <laughs> and that's weird. And Dennis is the, uh, the well, we call him business unicorn. I call him networking god. He's very good at networking with people and making connecting people. So that's what started out this. Uh, I never went. To that. that was like five years into my career in RFID hacking, solving things for my own fun. I didn't have anything. I had a Proxmark and I had cards. I didn't have any tools. I didn't have any machines. Anything extra. I had a Proxmark and that. That's all I had. And from there, uh, I started to go to conferences and talk about the uh, Proxmark. And people were like, oh, yeah, are you Iceman? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, oh, I love your stuff. Okay, <laughs> I had no idea. I'm sitting at home doing my stuff. You know, right. you know, moderating on forum. I don't know. You know, building community. It's like make sharing information. You know, you're figuring things out. You need data sheets. You need uh, solutions. You need software. You need to do all that stuff to do it. And you know, have to build that up so it's a warm and welcoming and curious people can come in, bringing the knowledge and wanting to share. And I think that's what's happened. And from there, it's just grown. Right. We are a massive Discord channel now. We went over to Discord in COVID times because all the kids was like, oh yeah, why don't you use Discord? It's, like, it's a gaming thing, isn't it? It's like, mm -hmm. no. And then I started it and just, why not? You know, and it's really good. I like it. It's not like the old forums, but it's really good in communicating with people. You have this video chat and all that stuff and people are talking and spreading ideas and all that stuff. It was amazing. And it's connecting even more people doing all that stuff. And I realized, I think that was the first time I got the feeling that there are actually so many people using the stuff that I have been doing that I always thought I was alone doing. Right. And then that they wanted some kind of outlet to talk right. and share and like that and being, you know, feeling like a community and welcomed. About. So yeah, that's what I do. And, and like I always said, we're standing on shoulders of giants. And when I heard that you guys use the same expression as we have been saying in the Proxmark world for 10 years, and we're all so proud of it, you know, give credit what credit is due. And when we are really standing on the shoulders of giants with, of the previous persons before us, and we try to you know, lift up a new generation. And I hear you saying, you, Troy, and other people saying that on stage, first day I got to the same con. I'm like, oh my God, it's like, this is, this is exactly the same mentality. Yeah. That was. Yeah. Is, it, is it wild to see your fingerprint on all these things that are spreading so far into all these different? I don't like, think I get it. Because I understand you're saying there's, there's giants, and I understand you're giving credit where credit's due. But you have a fingerprint in a lot of these things, especially Proxmart, all this admin work. Is it wild to see your work, your effort, that, that baby of time spread so much and impact so many people? Well, I don't know if, you know, I don't get that feedback. So it's only when I go to conference and meet people who are like, oh, yeah, shake your hand and stuff. But, you know, that's crazy things. People came up and wanted me to sign things. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, so, so that's, you know, people call it fame and stuff like that. I think that's just noise. It's, it's, you don't need that. Uh, you know, nobody wants to actually be famous in that sense. It's just, it's a shared thing. We build this together, you know. Right. So I'm happy to be the poster boy for it. It's, it's not my, it's something we built. I'm trying to say that. And, you know, yes, I have my finger. It's, yes, it says Iceman and people are happy with it. But it wasn't me alone. Right. It was a group effort. Uh, I really want people to do that. The most beautiful thing I can see is when young kids uh, comes and said, yeah, I use a Proxmark. I go, wow. So was a guy here, I don't know whose name again because I lost it, but he was like, oh yeah, I'm going to do a talk about Proxmark, about Amiboos. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are you working on next? What's something that's getting you excited? It doesn't have to be, you don't have to give me secrets or proximate, but like what's something that like you're bashing your head on, it's on the cupboard and you're excited about? Oh, I got some plans. I'm not ready to be discussed <laughs> <It's fair. laughs> openly yet, but within six months, I think most people would know uh, what's going on in the, in the mind of, of Iceman. Uh, yeah, but basically it's going to be starting up a company that goes for training and consultations and software and hardware development in RFID or SDR world and targeting the European markets, That's, more or less. It sounds like it's going to keep you busy. Uh, sounds fun. I hope so. I don't know. But you never know. Until you try. Yeah. If, if somebody wanted to approach you and chat with you about something, clearly there's a thread there about RFID and Proxmire, right? Like clearly they could just bring that up and talk about that. Is there something else that like they could bring up and have a, a common thing to chat with you about? Hobbies, something else that you, you like and just enjoy to do? Oh, this sounds like a phishing attack now. Okay. Well, you don't have, you have to decide name. what you want to share here. <laughs> but No, you can talk to me about everything. I'm, I'm kind of an open book. I'm, 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 I'm very, what you see is what you get. I don't have very much facades or anything like that. Uh, it's, uh, 
But they might think, oh, it's Ice Man, and I can't talk to oh, him. Oh God! I, don't I, we, don't be like that. You but they might. But is there something that might be a common thread for them that uh, you also? If you're shy and you want to approach me, and you feel it's a little bit, you know, and you think that is something, it's like, don't be. Uh, trust me. I'm, yell, I'm, yell the machine at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just say. Ask me. Ask me about my flipper firmware. <laughs> Just, just put your arms up the air and yell the machine at you, and uh, Ice Man! you guys can start. <laughs> you guys can just kick it off. <laughs> I'm Ice Man. No, you know it's, it's it's okay. You know, just go and say hi. It's like, yeah, I, you know, I want to talk to you about something. Sure, do. I'm always open for the dialogue with people, and you know, I'm quite a good listener as well. You are a good listener, and you're also a great talker, and I appreciate all your contributions and coming out to Utah, seeing the mountains. Hopefully it doesn't snow on us tomorrow. It's looking like it might turn. But I uh, thank you for joining me in the St. Con Hallway and hope you enjoy the rest of the con. Thank you so much for having me, Pope.